want to share with you a message entitled, I Owe You. Now, I'm confident we've IOU'd somebody, right? Or we've been owed something. The thing about debt is, if we don't pay the debt, we lose something. The reality is, all of us in this room are in our debt, debt, whether we know it or not. We are in debt. We are in debt to God. We owe God big time. Though none of us can afford God, amen, or repay Him fully or even partly for anything He has ever done, is doing, or is yet to do. We all are most definitely in debt to Him, and even though we can't afford to pay Him back, we do have the ability to please or satisfy Him what we owe Him. In Romans chapter number 8, verses 12 through 14, it says, Therefore, brethren, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. For as many are as led by the Spirit of God, these are sons of God. We are debtors, friend. All of us in this room, whether you recognize it or not, we are debtors. We are in debt to God. We owe Him. We are in debt to the things of God. We are in debt to the Spirit of God. We are in debt to the nature of God. We owe God. You owe God. In what ways are we debtors to God? We are debtors to Him to obey Him with our lives. We are debtors to Him with our body, with our soul, our strength. Having Him broken His commandments, as we all have, and I always think it comical when people read through the commandments, they go, well, I haven't done that one, I haven't done that one, I haven't done that. You know, the Bible says if you've broken one of them, you've broken all of them. We're all guilty. We are debtors to Him, to His justice, and we owe him vast amounts, which none of us can afford to pay. None of us can afford to pay the vast amounts that we owe God. As believers, we must never say or think we owe God nothing because it's all been paid for and it's all okay. You are a debtor to his justice, friend, if you are an unbeliever. But as a believer, his justice has been paid by Jesus' payment. Are you listening? Jesus has paid what you owed God. He has paid for that. If you're a believer in Jesus Christ. And for this reason, the believer owes him love. Owes him love owes him gratitude, owes him praise, owes him thanks. I am a debtor to God's grace today. I am a debtor to God's grace today. today. I am in debt to his mercy. I am in debt to his kindness. Kindness. I am in debt to his goodness. I am in debt to his patience. patience, patience. I owe God. I owe God. I owe him. You owe him. You owe him. God. Our preachers should not have to siphon gratitude, praise, thanks out of us. Should flow out. We've got to get to that place where praise and gratitude and thanks for who God is and what He has done flows out of us. And friend, we need to get that fixed today. When you walk into this room and when you wake up tomorrow morning, you better know who you are because you owe God.
You owe God, we owe God an incredible debt. And though we cannot afford what he has done, we can certainly satisfy and please the debt with our gratitude, our thanks, our praise, and our attitude. It is the world that doesn't recognize the kindness and the love of God and the gratitude that he is owed because they do not experience his forgiveness and because they have not experienced his forgiveness they don't realize how much they owe God that he puts up with those scallywags every day for the work you've done in me for the work you've done in us for the things you do for the things you're yet to do we owe God a debt of gratitude because it could have never been done without God Imagine how many times he's kept your life from falling. He's kept your faith intact. How many enemies and demons have assailed you, as well as your own besetments. But yet God has kept you, even in the midst of yourself, battling you, he has brought you through. You've been your own worst enemy, and he's defeated you to bring you through. That's how good he is. You owe him. You owe him. You owe him. God, we owe you. We are indebted to you, Lord.